podcast and this is the last show of the year so I like to go out, go out in the blaze of glory before we get to the topic I like to you know we take care of the business at hand again hopefully your holiday's been good Hopefully everything been well with you during the holidays, you know, Christmas and leading on to now. And again, I'd like to thank you guys all across the world for supporting this machine. And next year will be a better year for all of us and staying positive and true. The Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor Diafilm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. We have a whole wide range of products. Definitely need your guys to support us. Uh, again, we have men's, ladies, kids' clothing, accessories such as jewelry, artwork, office supplies, etc., and also check out www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, and digital products for personal as well as business use. And finally, check us out at evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. There we have lotions, soaps, DVDs, clothing, and much, much more. So check us out as well. We have a link to other affiliates, www.linktree.com forward slash Evolution of London. So definitely support that. We do have a Patreon channel, www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. There we have uh, from videos that is now on YouTube, digital artwork, as well as consulting services. Again, uh, Again, uh, I will say, oh, oh, well, let me backtrack, actually. Uh, music. Music. As you're hearing right now. Music. Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. You have a whole wide range of different beats, as what you're hearing right now. And once you go to the social media platform, you will all see his other links on YouTube. So like, subscribe, share to Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. The Greatness 19 channel, that's our education channel. Open up your third eye. So definitely like, subscribe, and share. And again, thank you guys for having us reach uh, 1K. And hopefully in the future, well, let's keep pushing it to the next level, 5K. And also check out... Mr. Evolution of London, that's our health and wellness channel. Definitely li- like for your guys to like, subscribe, and share to the Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. Mr. Will, he's been our fitness consultant for over 15 years and can't be yours. Email him at williesfitness99 at gmail.com. That's Willie's, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. Check out his merch, www.wjaaccessories.org, O-R-G. There he, he have custom clothing, accessories, and digital artwork as well. Fin City, Fin City Fish and Chips, located 711 Richmond Street, that's again downtown London, Ontario, telephone number is 519-672-9950, their email is fincitylondon at gmail.com, website is www.fincityfishandchips.ca. 
Definitely that fish is very good. And fries and salads and etc. But definitely check out that fish and chips. It's very good. So support Finn City. I need you guys to check out Oliver Twist, located 130 King Street, every Friday night, Uptown Friday Night, DJ Panthro on the ones and twos, starting time 9 p.m. until 2 a.m., again, that's downtown London, Ontario, the Covered Garden Market, Market. their telephone number is 519-204-9100. 84. Now DJ Panther, Panther giving you a wide range of music from old school to new school. One of the best DJs in southwestern Ontario. Support the support the machine. I was gonna say support the freaking machine. Again, it is written. Check out AT Cell Phone Repair. They've been in business for 20 years. That's actually Freedom. Yes, his name is Freedom. He's been in in business for 20 years. He has two locations. 1401 Ernest Avenue, Unit 15, London, Ontario. That first location sells computers, iPods, iPads, accessories, and all different types of phones. Business email is atcellphonerepair at gmail.com. The telephone number 519-204-7300. Second location is 93 Wellington Street North. Again, London, Ontario. Toll free number is 877-358-0026. Local number is 226-503-3300. They wholesale at that location, computers, iPods, iPads, accessories, and all phones. So show your love there. Number one for parts and accessories in London, Ontario, and provide security cameras and install them as well. The business email at that location is atwholesale at gmail.com. That's A-T-W-H-O-L-E-S-E-L-L-E-R at gmail.com. So definitely support. Now the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So any other information I haven't mentioned... Just check out the Oracle 19 podcast, Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London, and finally www.theoracle19radio.com. I think I basically covered pretty much everything. Let's see, let me make sure I've, I've covered everything. Yeah, and I've, anything I've mentioned, like I said, will be in the description box. So let me be the first ones to say early, happy new year to you. Happy future new year. I know it will be coming up, so new year, new beginning. And today we're going to talk about the satanic bondage agenda. Satanic bondage Agenda. Now, what do I mean? What do I mean? Now, is it a agenda to keep the population in bondage? Bondage? Mental bondage? I will say yes. And what do I mean? We as citizens is bond, bonded to society, bonded to work. Let's start with that. We have to work so much that we don't really have time for our families. And guess who end up teaching the families or the children? The system. And I talked about that a little bit on the last topic, the schools. 
you bound to the job where you have to work so much that they end up controlling you because you need the money. You have no freedom to be a free thinker because you bound to the job. And it's a is that the part of the old the the whole grand scheme of things? Is that uh, an agenda? Is that a satanic agenda? Now you guys might think I'm a little bit over the top by saying that the satanic bondage agenda. Because, see, by you being bound to work and a slave to the job, you have no time to cultivate your children. You have no time to bond with your significant other. You have no time to have freedom as a a free-thinking individual. So now my question for me to you, is this an agenda? Is it part of the structure of the powers that be? Is the powers, if the, is the powers of be, is the powers behind the shadows of society satanic? Am I making sense to you? Some of y'all probably, probably not. But you find this in movies. A lot of influences on the negative side within movies. When you do get that free time, you already influenced by commercials, by TV, movies. You believe in Santa Claus. Your, your children is believing in Santa Claus. You're indoctrinating that pagan holiday to your children. All in the name of goodwill and fun and gift giving and putting up a Christmas a Christmas tree is this a, a, an agenda to keep you bonded mentally to the spirit of Christmas and I talk about Christmas being a pagan holiday in the previous show last year And when you look at the word Santa and Satan is interchangeable. Just the words is spelled differently, but it's the same thing. The devil, if you think of the devil, he's in red. You think of Santa Claus, he's wearing he's wearing red. And if you spell Santa, it's S-A-N-T-A. And Satan, S-A-T-A-N. Does that make sense? And there's a lot of movies that praise the devil of this society. And the number of three sixes is always put out there in subliminal messages. And a lot of times these movies flash these numbers so quick you don't pick it up but your subconscious picks it up. You see it in cartoons. You see it in everyday life. What looks innocent on TV 
there's messages. And there's a, a name brand name brand uh, clothing. And what is it? Um, starts with a letter B. Anyway, um, it'll come to me. But I know y'all guys know it. But there's a name brand... Name brand clothing. That is popular now. And it basically... Their commercials are very satanic. Let me see if I can pull that up. Because I know it was on the tip of my tongue. Just bear with me, guys. Is a out is a clothing line that Kim Kardashian Kim Kardashian she's she wears. Shoot, why I can't think of it because I just remembered it. But anyway, you can always look that up. I know if you want to follow, if you want to do a your own paper trail, just figure out what Kim Kardashian's uh, one her main outfits or, or clothing line she she affiliates with and it starts with a, a, the letter B B A something um, I'm not into all of that the trends but I know y'all guys know about it but anyway that the point being that that particular company Promotes weirdness on the commercial ads on basically satanic worship and child, you know, just just weirdo stuff against the kids, bondage, and. and they they have these ads with the children is is put in certain uh, positions and it's just weird stuff. Put it like that. And that's being promoted nowadays. Uh, children being abused physically and mentally, pedophilia. That's really where I'm. I really meant to say pedophilia. And this uh, particular brand promotes that in the in the show in their commercials, uh, children being put in bondage, and nowadays they got toys that is promoting bondage, sexual bondage. Weird stuff with toys. Uh, one particular brand is called Rainbow High. Uh, and another one is called Shadow High. I think that's maybe part of the same where the doll is dipped in water. It looks innocent. It looks like a regular small little doll. Big eyes. And you dip it in water. And then when you dip in water, it shows that the, the girl have clothing, bondage, leather type clothing. Showing, you know, the nipples of the breasts and stuff. Weird stuff. These are supposed to be something innocent that four or five year olds are supposed to be playing. But you dip it in water and it shows the child, the little doll in, uh, in leather. And leather is affiliated with being, uh, being in bondage. That's a uh, you know, sexual perversion. Hope I'm making sense here. 
but this is all part of the satanic bondage agenda. Because while we are bound as adults to money and work life, our children is being is put out there and being influenced by these demons via school, via daycare, every day, all day. Or we allow them to watch TV and they we think his Sesame Street is innocent and it's not anymore. And then they be on that tablet playing supposedly an honest game but then if they playing with a, a regular children's game online then there's commercials and commercials show you know it could show two women kissing or two men kissing and this is the commercial while your child is playing that innocent game and all of this is happening in seconds and while your child is playing the game then it breaks the commercial and then you show soft porn and then it goes right back to the game and you in the kitchen fixing food or you in the bedroom watching TV while your child is there staring at the tablet playing the game and while it jumps to the commercial it gives it shows soft porn so this right there the five year old is watching and taking in all in seconds the commercial runs for five seconds and it goes right back to the game this is is this a satanic agenda? And while you busy, you know you you don't catch that. And then you wonder why your child has a perverted mind at four and five. Because every day they've been playing this game and the, the commercials showing soft porn. And the and the commer- and the TV shows were supposed to be innocent. It's not. Now I just gave you an example of this g- particular doll, Rainbow High. Another one, Shadow High. It might probably one in the same. That's just one example. Many dolls and videos promoting sexual per- perversion. Children can't be children. And again, you are bonded to the work and it's really rough if you sing if you a single parent most likely a single mom this is why it's very important for us as adults sometimes we got to come to grips with ourselves put aside the ego and really start protecting these children. It's, it's, it's essential. Whatever disagreements you have with the father or the mother and stuff, it's sometimes you just sometimes you gotta put that aside if for the benefit of these babies. Because it's getting real bad out here. That these babies out here is uh, is alone. And you can't pick up everything. They go to the daycare. 
There's perverts at the daycare. Potentially fondling, fondling around, fondling with your babies. You, and you don't know. You just don't know. You can't pick it up. You don't know what's happening. And these these weirdos will look at you with a smile like nothing is happening. Everything is good. The day kids act act good and no problem. And a lot of these weirdo babysitters and teachers. All pierced up and tattooed up. You don't know what's their mentality. Not throwing shade on so much of the people that do have tattoos and piercings. But I'm just giving an example of you don't know who's who. You don't know that what's in their head. But swinging back to the adults, you don't have enough time in the day, unfortunately. And then when you do get a break, you want to rest and sleep. But your child is out there, out there defending for him or herself. And it's it's a sad world. Most of these children at a very young age have to defend for themselves. It's so sad. They surviving on their own. And you mothers got to be careful who you allow around your children. Because you don't know if that person is a Satanist or a pedophile or what. Just because that person have a smile on their face, that means nothing. But a lot of adults, it's not really, they don't have that mental capacity, unfortunately. But it is a, it is an agenda to make us citizens a slave to our jobs while our children is left alone. And you wonder why these children is growing up to be a bunch of weirdos? Because they've been out here dangling alone and you don't know what is going on. Been molested and played with and you don't even know until they get a certain age when they start realizing what have happened to them. Parents have to find a better way. There got to be a better way. Most of y'all, y'all got to do a better job. And most, and the, the, the really the people that is really have the, that's watching the children or really have the, the custody are usually the mothers, and your mothers is, you're not doing a good job. You're not. You gotta find a way. There gotta be a better way. Now, and that's not all mothers, by no stretch of imagination. And same thing as single fathers. is got to do a better job. And it's not, again, all fathers. And I can say that for you two-parent homes. It's not all of y'all parents. But 
we as citizens got to do a better job to have more time in our life to protect our loved ones and make sure that we protect ourselves. Because as long as you're a slave for the industry, you are controlled. You can't do anything. The only thing you could do is be a slave. Wake up, work, home, sleep, wake up again, wash and rinse. The cycle all over again. And that is not... That's not cool. It's actually dangerous, especially in this day and time. There's so many roadblocks that is put in front of us to keep us like sheep, keep us confused. We barely have time to pick up a book and read, an educational book at that, to sit down and read. I know it's hard. I really understand it. I'm, I get it. But one thing in society, we as citizens, there's always loopholes to everything. So there's always a way to get out of your situation to make it even better. Would it be harder? Yes. Wouldn't lie to you because life is that way. Life is not just easy. It's not built on easy mode. We have to put in a lot of thinking, put in a lot of work, give a lot of thought, I should say, and be calculated so it's not simple, but not impossible. Because this satanic bondage agenda is built for you to maintain a slave mentally and physically and emotionally and financially. That's how it's built. The more slaves, the better it is to control. The less slaves, it's harder to control the population. They're all, if there always had room for uproar when you have majority of citizens that have don't do not have the slave mentality and are free thinking and free to roam. Therefore, that's dangerous. So, either you have to be bound to your job or bound to take medication because you are mentally ill keep you in bondage by smoking, staying high all the time. That means you can't think. Be financially bound, meaning that you always got to pay bills week to week. Your check just goes straight to bills. So you don't have the freedom to move around, to be a free thinking person. Be emotionally bound. Where you battling with your spouse, So that way, if you constantly battling with your spouse, you back and forth in court. And so you can never, you will never be free thinking because you always battling with that other individual. That's also an agenda. As long as you're going back and forth to family court, that is an agenda to keep you bound. Because while you're going back and forth dealing with your spouse, your ex, you suffering at the end of the day because it takes a lot of mental. So nobody wins. That's an agenda. So the devil have many ways to keep you Bonded in his realm. Question for me to you is the satanic bondage an agenda, yes or no? So, going forward to the new year, what are you going to do? Do 
do you have a game plan? How are you going to free yourself? How are you going to protect your family? Physically, emotionally, financially? What are you putting forward to free yourself? That's my question for me to you. Because if you don't free yourself, if you don't start the process, guess what? It's going to be a repeated cycle. Wash and rinse and start all over again. Thank you for listening. Thank you.